So this is pretty breaking news in the running community. Wilson Kipsang was a former world record holder who ran a very fast marathon time of 2 hours 3 minutes and 13 seconds. Now Wilson is an athlete who has recently served a ban for 4 years for violating the biological passport. For those of you that don't know the biological passport, it's like a passport but for testing so athletes stay clean and fair. Today's video we're going to be going over some of the details on how he plans to come back at the age of 41 years old. So most of you already know that Kip Sang was hit with a 4 year ban allegedly for a fake photo and violating anti-doping rules. Very very bad you guys. So the former world marathon record holder Wilson Kipsang has been banned for 4 years for a series of anti-doping violations. Now this was really really bad but when I first heard this I thought perhaps it was EPO or something like that. However that's not the case. It seems to be related to uh, a photograph this article is saying. I will leave a link to all my sources in the description. Please go and check them out for yourselves. But yeah, he's run, he ran the world record many years ago at the Berlin Marathon. And I thought it was over for him, guys. But he recently just finished his four-year ban. And he's actually announced that he's coming back. And the craziest thing about this, he's going to try and qualify for the Olympics in Paris. I couldn't even believe this. I searched running forums, I searched articles, I searched the whole website to bring you guys this video. So make sure you hit subscribe if you're new and leave a like on today's video to show your support. Right, let's get one thing straight. Wilson Kipsang was one of the greatest marathon runners around 6 or 7 years ago. He was arguably the greatest before Eli Kipchoge hit his breakthrough peak in around 2016. Before then, Wilson Kipsang was the GOAT of the marathon alongside Kipritich and then Dennis Kometo who later came along and broke his world record by around about 15 to 16 seconds back in 2014, also at the Berlin Marathon. Wilson's a fairly tall marathon runner compared to the others. I believe he stands at around 5 foot 10 to 5 foot 11, which is very tall for a marathon runner considering the average height is, in my opinion, around about 5 foot 8 to 5 foot 7. Now, this is very, very, very worrying for the likes of Eli Kipchoge because if Wilson Kipsang has been training hard during his four year ban, well, Kipchoge might be in a lot of trouble because Wilsang is actually trying to qualify for the Olympics this year. And there are multiple articles I found, including this one here, which I'll also link in the description, that states that Wilson is not only eager, but he is ready to come back and run a world record. Now, this is scary, scary stuff. So I went on Let's Run and I started digging for some sources and I came across one of these comments here two months ago where someone linked a article by pulsesports.co.ke so when I clicked on all these different articles linked it came up with some statements that Wilson had made also we had some websites stating his ban and why he got it and all of them seemed to be saying the same thing that it was tampering with evidence that he provided to the uh, committee regarding the testing and the biological passport. I don't know why he would do something like this. Perhaps it was his running agent. There's a lot of corruption in sports which is worrying. So here I went on to the article that the guy on Let's Run recommended. So this is one I'll link below as well. The 41 year old was slapped with a four year ban for whereabouts failures not being available for drug testing and providing false evidence in his case. So actually, four years isn't that long because he's just done three pretty bad things right there. So next, Kip Sang has been provisionally banned in January 2020 and the case handled by the Athletics Committee unit was taken through until this point, 2024. The former Olympic bronze medalist was punished for four years for whereabouts failures between April 2018 and May 2019. Three such failures within 12 months led to an automatic ban. Yeah, that's mad. I, I can't really believe 
how something like that would lead to an automatic ban for only 5 or 4 years. I think that something like this would deserve more of a ban. But the problem is, I'm not being biased, I'm a huge Wilson Kipsang fan. He was actually one of my big idols when I was training very hard. Those of you who remember my old series, when I was training to run a 15 minute 5k, breaking 16 minutes in the 5k, I used to actually try and run like Wilson Kipsang, my running form and my arm swing was very low, because back then I was a similar height to Wilson, I was around 6 foot 1, I think this was when I was 17, I grew a lot more since then, over 3 or 4 inches since then, which made it impossible for me to keep training at a high level, because being so tall, it's difficult to run fast for a long time. So these articles are all saying that Kipsang is actually aiming to come back in his mid to early 40s. So this is similar situation to Bekele. I think a lot of these athletes are trying to push the barrier when it comes to their age. And he noted that he'll be looking forward to competing at either the Tokyo Marathon, well he wasn't at that one, so we know that's ruled out, the Paris Marathon on April the 7th, or the Hamburg Marathon on April 24th. Now, I will cover both those races here on this channel, so make sure you subscribe if you aren't already to stay up to date with the Wilson Kipsang news because this is pretty crazy. This is breaking news. Wilson Kipsang is an athlete who did struggle though. Before he got banned in 2018 to 2019, he DNF'd a Berlin marathon, he got beaten multiple times at half marathon races, and he seemed to really struggle to hold on to the leaders. I think that it was possibly because of his age catching up to him. However, a lot of his fans say that he has had issues with accidents, car accidents and things like this. And when I did more research on these claims, I found out it's actually true. Wilson was involved in an accident with his family and they just got out alive. It was a very close call. And this reminded me of what happened to Kelvin Kiptum. And it kind of makes me think. Are the roads that dangerous in Kenya? Is the safety and the regulations really very bad out there? I've never been to Kenya myself, but a lot of my friends and training partners have, and they said that it can be chaotic in certain places, the roads can be very uh, crazy, so people need to be careful and stay safe, especially pro runners who if they get hit in a car accident, they're gonna end up being out for months with major injuries. Not only has this happened to Wilson Kipsang, but it also happened to Asbel Kiprop, and it also happened to Jeffrey Kamwara, and it also happened to Kelvin Kiptum, and he didn't even get out alive. It's crazy, guys. Something is wrong with the Kenyan roads, and it's affecting our athletes so badly. It needs to be sorted. So this is an article about that that I'll link down below. The runner, accompanied by his wife and two sons, were in a car accident in early January. It was the second serious, the second, oh my goodness me, the second serious vehicle accident Kipsang has been in, in the past four years. The family was declared out of danger after receiving medical care at a hospital. Wow, you guys. I mean, 41 years old, survived two serious accidents, and he has just been through a four year ban. So I'm assuming that Wilson Kipsang has been training very, very hard during these past four years. Now there's one issue with this. There are a couple rumors that Wilson will join Nike and NN running team. I don't, that is just currently a rumor though. So don't take that as fact. It is just a rumor from Let's Run Forum. However, one thing we have to remember is during the past four years, Wilson would have most likely lost his training partners. When an athlete gets banned by the IAAF or the anti-doping committee, they usually get kind of shunned. They get thrown away. They get kicked out of clubs and groups because although a lot of athletes are doing this, they're doing beetroot juice, as long as they're not caught, no one really cares or bats an eyelid. However, if they get caught, then the other athletes have to kind of kick them out of the group to make it look like everyone's clean and they're all against taking beetroot juice. We, we know the truth and I spoke more about it back in the day during the shed videos. 
But as a whole, I have to say that Wilson Kipsang is an athlete that probably shouldn't be coming back. Now, he could prove me wrong, like Bekele is still trying to prove me wrong. However, I don't think he will. I really don't think he will. And in a minute, we're going to pull up his stats on his last race, his personal records, how old he was when he ran those, when they were, what race, etc. And also, if you want any of the links to these articles to read them more in depth, I will leave all the links in the description so you can check them all out. One is Let's Run, uh, the other is uh, a running magazine from Canada. Then we have the Kenyan article, and we also have the Guardian article from the UK. These are kind of credible sources in my opinion, and I'd recommend you guys keep reading their articles as they have some very good writers. So right now, Wilson Kipsang would have been in the middle of training. However, if he's done it on his own and he hasn't done any races, I think he's in big trouble because you have to be racing every year to stay at that high level of running 203, 204 marathons. And even nowadays, a 204 marathon won't get you a gold at the Olympics. I'm going to say that right now, guys. 204 marathon ain't getting gold at the Olympics. We're looking at 202s. We're looking at guys running 201s. And the late Kevin Kipton, we had him running two hours. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. So let me just pull up these stats on Wilson's last race. Right, so I've gone on the IAAF uh, kind of a profile for Wilson Kipsang. His last race was April 2019. It was the Virgin Money London Marathon and he was disqualified. Then we had the 10th of March 2019. The Vitality Big Half Marathon was 1 hour 4 minutes. That's awful. 64 minutes. He wasn't disqualified from that. Although he probably would have been by default because of what the decision that was made. But 64 minutes is a 208 marathon. That's not good at all. So he doesn't have a very good track career. He didn't really have a track career. Kind of like Kelvin Kipton. He just went straight into road racing. So we got a 5k of 1342. We got a 10 miles of 46. Half marathon of 58.59 at the RIK back in 2009, years ago. And then, of course, his former world record at Berlin Marathon of 2.03.13. So this was when he actually beat Eli Kipchoge 10 years ago now. And uh, he ran the world record. Kipchoge finished in second. And I believe Jeffrey Kamwara came in in either third or fourth. And this was back when Jeffrey was a teenager, I'm pretty sure. He was around 18 or 19 years old. So it's kind of scary to think how fast time goes by. I remember when I was watching Wilson at London Marathon back in like 2015. And it feels like it was only yesterday. Life has gone by so fast, but I feel like it's kind of sad. Some of these pro runners are kind of in denial that they think they're still able to run at such a high level in their 40s. There's really no one that's done that other than Haile Gebre Selassie. And even he had to retire at 43 and just become a pacer. He was still fast enough to stay near the front for a while. But you just lose that top end speed. You lose that cardiovascular fitness. But more importantly, you lose the VO2 max. The lactate threshold isn't the issue here when you get older. If anything, that slightly improves. It's the VO2 max. It's the maximum capacity of your lungs. And of course, your stride, your muscles the elasticity, your bounce in your stride, the youthfulness is what gives you all these things, which is why we have guys who are barely 22, 23, running these 203, 204 marathons already. When everyone used to think that the best age for a marathon was 35. Well, look at Kelvin Kipton, when he ran his world record, the guy is so young, people said he shouldn't have even been running a marathon. Same for Jeffrey Kamwara, same for Dennis Kometo, same for so many of the other names now who are skipping the track career that the greats did before they moved onto the marathon. So I welcome any comments from you guys in the comment section down below. Please be kind and respectful. I understand he has been banned for four years, but that is now over. And remember the facts, it wasn't for any substances or EPO, it was for tampering with evidence, a photo, whereabouts, filing, etc. You can find all those facts on the articles in the source links below. But all that matters now is that he is back, he stays clean, and that he performs as best he can. 
We're here to support you, Wilson. Good luck in the rest of your career, and I will be covering either one of the marathons that you take part in, so be sure to subscribe, guys, so you don't miss that. I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace.